Edition, but you are making it very difficult. I told you if you got in my way, I would take you down. You stole my house. If I hadn't, Victoria would have. She outbid you with a cash offer this morning. How could you have possibly known that? Because I hacked the realtor's computer. I've been tracking the sale all week. Victoria outbid you, so I outbid her. She should fee into our little club. It's not a club, Nolan, and we're not partners. Do you understand me? Yeah, sure. Call it whatever you want. I'm just happy to be here, coach. Bill Harmon. What do you need me to do? You just get it. Now go. Fight to the death. Go ahead. Make your threat. Stake your claim. I'm not gonna fight you. Why? I'd fight me. Catherine's gonna try to play us against each other. You do know that, right? Brother, don't you worry. Our bond is unbreakable. We need to stay united against her. So yes, as much as I would like to kill you, I'm not gonna fight you. House, you're right. Why not? Why not date you? It's brilliant. We've known each other for years. We put up with all kinds of crap from each other, and we keep coming back. We're a couple. Are we still speaking metaphorically? What's wrong? Just met a friend of yours. A friend? An enemy. Oh, which one? Your arch enemy. <clears throat> According to him, do people have arch enemies? Did he offer you money to spy on me? Yes. Did you take it? No. Pity we could have split the fee. Think it through next time. Surprise! What do you think you're doing, bringing Jack here? Oh, it's, come on. Jack and I are friends. You don't have friends. Not that one of us can afford them, you know that. Yeah, speak for yourself. You betrayed me. Thought we had an understanding. Oh, so did I. I know it was you who went to the press. I just can't understand why you leaked the wrong info when you had access to the no-core memos. You knew I was going with you in attack. <laughs> yes, but Bill Harmon didn't. He bet big on all calm. Two billion of his fund's assets down the drain. After a financially fatal move in the market today, Harmon Investments founder Bill Harmon was swarmed by a mob of angry investors outside of his office this evening. We expect the imminent collapse of Harmon Investments and major personal losses for He's ruined. Pass me my phone. Where is it? Jacket. Careful. Text from your brother. Deleted. Absolutely. What is wrong with you? You killed somebody? Get off of me. A. Don't touch me. B. If I had, it wouldn't have been so obvious about it. Any idea of where you'll go? I don't know. London, maybe? See some friends. You don't have any friends, Damon. You're right, Stefan. I only have you. So... What are you doing here, Nolan? Evening, kitten. Uh, as you know, I'm a big contributor to the Good Senators campaign. I just thought I'd show up and see what I'm contributing to. Ah, the fun police. What is? Rachel. So we can read her emails, so what? Anderson, don't talk out loud. You lower the IQ of the whole street. We can do much more than just read her emails. And is your wife away for long? Oh, don't pretend you worked that out. Somebody told you that. Your deodorant told me that. My deodorant? It's for men. Well, of course it's for men. I'm wearing it. So, Sergeant Donovan. Now, look, whatever you're trying to imply... I'm not implying anything. I'm sure Sally came round for a nice little chat and just happened to stay over has the case, and we found it in the hands of our favorite psychopath. I'm not a psychopath, Anderson. I'm a high-functioning sociopath. Do your research. Rache. German for revenge. She could be trying to tell yes, us Yes, thank you for your input. Are they just for my hip? The 
herbal soothers. Shut up, everybody, shut up. Don't move, don't speak, don't breathe. I'm trying to think. Anderson, face the other way. You're putting me off. What? My face is. Everybody quiet and still. Anderson, turn your back. Go away, Nolan. I have to know, how did you do it? Destroyed a man's career? I want to destroy his life. If he had done the right thing, he would have saved my father. He chose not to, so down he goes. Along with his family. You scare me. Good. Ordinary people fill their heads with all kinds of rubbish, and that makes it hard to get at the stuff that matters, do you see? But it's the solar system. Oh, hell, what does that matter? So we go around this sun, if we went round the moon, or round and round the garden like a teddy bear, it wouldn't make any difference. All that matters to me is the work. Without that, my brain rots. Put that in your blog. Or better still, stop inflicting your opinions on the world. I'm getting pretty sick of you sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, Nolan. I know you've been whispering in Jack Porter's ear. <laughs> Don't involve him in this. I heard you two had a perfectly lovely evening and... Nice to know you can let your guard down once in a while. Who knew you could cook? What the hell are you doing? Bored. What? Bored! No... God! God! I don't know what's gone into the criminal classes. Good job I'm not one of them. So you take it out on the wall? Oh, the wall had it coming. Good evening, Ebs. Thought you'd be amused to know that your fake boyfriend is busy making a drunken ass of himself at your other boyfriend's bar. I'm gonna have to cut you guys off. What? What are you talking about? You can't do that. Boys will be boys. Come on down. Testosterone's on the house. You like her personality. You like that she's conniving. You like that she has no regard for consequences. You like that she can humiliate someone if it serves. Oh my god. You're sleeping with me. You said I had a therapist. Got a psychosomatic limp. Of course you've got a therapist. Maybe you don't like his drinking. Yeah, how can you possibly know about the drinking? Shot in the dark. Good one, then. Thank you. <laughs> Power connection. Tiny scuff marks around the edge of it. Every night he plugs it in to recharge, but his hands are shaking. You never see those marks on a sober man's phone. Never see a drunks without them. There you go. You see, you were right. I was right. Right about what? The police don't consult amateurs. was amazing. Do you think so? <laughs> of course it was. It was extraordinary. It was quite extraordinary. What people usually say. What do they usually say? Piss off. <laughs> How long have you been working for Takeda? What are you talking about? I know you disabled the security cameras at the party. It's got Takeda's stamp all over it. Do I really need to kick your ass again? How did he recruit you? Okay. He cozied up to me at the investor shindig earlier this summer. He wanted me to look out for you. Why didn't you tell me? Because he told me not to. And he can be very convincing. I'm sorry, Ams. No, you know what? It's my fault. I should never have brought you so deep into this. Mm, it's a little late to put that genie back in the infinity box. Anyway, we have more pressing problems than your loyalty issues. Sherlock, anything on the menu, whatever you want, free, on the house for you and for your date. Do you want to eat? I'm not his date. This. You don't have a girlfriend then? Girlfriend? No, not really my area. All oh, right. Do you have a boyfriend? Which is fine, by the way. I know it's fine. So you've got a boyfriend? No. Right, okay. You're unattached. Like me. Fine. <clears throat> Good. 